There was only one peg left for me to find. It was proving to be difficult. I'd done all the groundwork, checked nearly everywhere, but it was nowhere to be found. And maybe the game itself was starting to get to me. Stop laughing. <laughs> this isn't funny. Yes, it is. You're on some lack of sleep retarded shit. Take a nap. He's off for a few days. Take a rest and let you finish off. No bloody chance. How many pegs left, Craig? I bet you think you got this wrapped up, didn't you? Well, guess what? I'm nearly done too. And no favours this time. None needed. You'll never get your last peg. It's in the bitch of a place. And you'd have to be mad to even try and reach it. I saw myself in deep meditation like Buddhist monks, just before they set off into the misty lair. I had no idea where Craig had hidden my last peg. But if I could stake out where I'd left his last peg, maybe I could intercept him before he got back to his secret base. It was time to play. Seems to me that I've been sitting on that ledge forever. Maybe I was going to have to wait. He took it! My mum said it would always end in tears. How's your grip, Arthur? Why don't you come over and I'll show you? No thanks. Think I'll pass. <sighs> so you're gonna bore me with a big long speech then? Not really. I thought I'd just let you burn to death while I place the last peg in the winning slot. <sighs> so that's it? You're just gonna leave me? What could be a better end to the game than this? <clears throat> this time, I win. Yeah. You win, Craig. You beat me real good. <laughs> me. The king of mediocre. So that just makes you slightly above average. Well done. No, mate. No. This is your victory. <laughs> they two of us playing and I was never that good anyway. I'm not listening to you, Arthur. Time for me to claim the cup. Maybe I'll see you at the next level. You might want to come and get your last peg. What? <laughs> your last peg? <laughs> I swiped it from him before you left me hanging it like a muppet. Why don't you uh, come down and get it? So you're telling us that after you climbed back up the chain, you searched for Mr. Cumberton's body, but found nothing? Nothing whatsoever. And as I told the police, I deny any murder charges. Despite the fact that you were heard by your neighbours threatening Mr. Cumberton... And two weeks later, the burnt remains of Mr. Cumberton's jacket were found on the street, not 200 yards from where you said you saw him last. I never killed anyone, but as Craig would tell you, there's no room for second place. Can I ask you one last question, Mr. Payne? Yeah, sure. Why this infatuation with a child's game? It gives me balance. How does it do that? Because... when I play... it makes me realise... 
that we could be just one wrong step away from extinction. And if you look hard enough, you can see their faces melting. You're not seriously suggesting that the whole of the city is covered in acid? <laughs>